Let's talk about Rust packages, crates, modules, and workspaces. So you can think of this floor as a workspace. And on my workspace, I can have multiple packages. Each one of these boxes is a package. Inside the package is this crate. This crate is this cardboard tray that the cold brew coffee's in. And inside the crate is the cold brew coffee, which you can think of as modules. This crate has some modules. So the workspace had a package on it. Package had a crate in it. Some boxes have multiple items in them. The crate had potentially multiple modules in the crate. Let's talk about crates, packages, modules, and workspaces. Now these are really closely related concepts that have subtle differences. When you run cargo new on the command line, you're actually creating a crate and a package. All cargo.toml files are associated with either a package or a workspace. So a cargo.toml file in a package applies to all the crates in that package, and a cargo.toml in a workspace applies only to that workspace. Workspaces are used to group related packages that may or may not depend on each other. One example of this might be a web application that has separate packages for the front end and the back end. All packages in a workspace share a common output directory for build artifacts. Create a workspace by creating a directory and placing a cargo.toml file in it with a workspace section. While you can use cargo new to quickly create the file structure for packages, it doesn't currently appear that you can do so for workspaces. Inside that directory, you can run cargo new to create packages within that workspace. To associate those packages with the workspace, add their names to a list of members in the workspace cargo.toml file. A package consists of one or more crates. Crates can either be binaries or libraries. A package can contain at most one library crate and may contain as many binary crates as desired. The default binary crate is defined by placing a main.rs file in the source directory of a package. The default library crate is defined by placing lib.rs inside the source directory of that package. Additional binary crates can be added to the package by placing them in a bin directory within the source directory. The names of these additional binary crates will be dictated by the name of the root source file. When working in a package that has multiple binary crates, use the dash dash bin argument Argument when invoking cargo run to specify the name of the crate you'd like to run. The binary crate defined in main.rs can be referred to using the name of the package. Use the dependency section of a package cargo.toml to specify the library crates that the package depends on. These dependency crates can exist in the cargo package registry, in a GitHub repository, or in another package of the same workspace. Each crate contains one or more modules. Modules provide logical groupings of functions and structures, as well as control over whether those resources are exposed to other modules. Modules can be defined purely in code by enclosing the contents of that module in curly braces, or they can leverage the file system to establish a hierarchy and separate the code into multiple files. Declare the existence of a module in a separate file by placing a semicolon after the mod clause instead of curly braces. The Rust compiler will look for the module in an RS file that matches the module name. You can define submodules in this file, which refer to files inside a directory named after the module. Hope this overview of crates, packages, modules, and workspaces was helpful. See you in the next one.